cycle of demonic influence is broken off them. This woman reacts immediately as the wise man touches her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out of her! No, no. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire all over your body. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Out! <laughs> you think you can deliver her? <laughs> Who are you? Come here! Come here! No! 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 Don't touch me. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I came as a friend to her mother when she was two years old. I told her that I love her daughter, but she never knew that I never came with in good intention. How did you enter her? I became her mother's friend. When I took her to my house, I possessed her, but her mother never knew. And after two years, she became sick because I wanted to kill her. But the dad this was so strong that I can't even do anything to her. So what are the evil you have done? She can't get married. He, it's only married men that always come for her. She has spirits of loss. There is nothing good that comes out of that family. The dad shop got burnt like three times. They can't even feed in their family. There is nothing good. Who is the cause? I, of course, her younger brother is asthmatic. I, uh, just leave me, let me go. I've done a lot of things. I've caused her mothers so many miscarriages. Even when she had two babies, she had them prematurely and they both died. Right now, I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. The wise man is not battling against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual entities and principalities out 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ out out of her out in the mighty name of jesus christ out satan is powerless in the face of god's armor you are declared free in jesus name thank you lord What happened to you? I was feeling hot here before. Are you still and feeling hot there now? I can't feel anything, but it's just as if something is coming out. I don't know. Jesus has set you free. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mary Ann Epoeme. I'm from Enugu State. Before I came to Synagogue Church of All Nations, I possessed the spirit of lust and spiritual husband. He used to disturb me so much, he then said, if I have sex with any man, you will start having problems. And I detest single men. It's only married men that I like. I'm not comfortable with single men. It's only married men because I feel comfortable with them. They are the only people that gives me what I want. And what happens to them makes me comfortable. I feel happy. So that is why I prefer married men than single men. Okay, what are the things that happen to them that make you comfortable? They will not be comfortable with their wives. There will never be kind of that peace that used to be before. And each time they stay with me and go back home, they will never touch their wife. This is to tell you that it's evil spirit. Not that it derives anything from meeting a married man. 
the only thing evil spirit derived joy to destroy the home cause confusion divorce crisis that is just the, what he achieved not the enjoyment he will have more to destroy than meeting a single man a single man there's nothing to destroy than the business and his career but in this case the marriage will crumble there will be trouble in the house confusion in the house it has affected my family also because my younger brother is asthmatic the problem started when he was very small if he starts here you even think that he will die the next minute i don't behave normal the spirit has also caused me pain sometimes i leave my home maybe i run away i stay out of home i go to club but last monday when wise man john t was coming around in, in fact each time i try to i will not be comfortable each time i come inside the church if i notice that the man of god or maybe the wise man is coming close to me i will not be comfortable anymore i'll feel dizzy i would like to ease myself and when he was coming closer i was sitting right there but when i noticed he was coming more closer i said okay let me go and eat i started feeling hungry i want to eat so when i went out to eat before i could come back they have already finished that size i now went to the back so when i went there to sit i was not comfortable i was not myself i was trying everything possible to comport myself but i couldn't i was feeling hot and i was not that is i was feeling very very hot so when i was just sitting there something asked me to close my eyes i closed my eyes I didn't know when they were coming close, and I can't even hear anything. I can't hear anything anymore. I, can't, I don't know that somebody is coming closer. Clever Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, when wise man John Chi came closer, he touched me. I felt fire was not comfortable anymore. If you ask me what's happening there, I won't tell you. And I felt this stiffness on my neck. I started feeling hot. I started boiling. That is, I can't even stand up, I can't sit down, I can't... Anything you ask me to do is a kind of disturbance to me. Everything, I was not comfortable at all. So the stiffness there was very, very serious and it was paining me. When I, I tried to gain myself, I found myself on the floor. That was when I recovered that, ah, this thing here, this thing that is paining me here is no more there. The pain is gone and I felt free. I think so after the prayers um, I started throwing up you know after then I'm free since last week that spirit that disturbing you and tell us what have been your experiences since last week I really thank God I am free and I'm free because I noticed I can't feel anything all the spirits of I kind of having something with the married man I don't have it anymore so I thank God I am free thank you Jesus Hallelujah. My advice goes straight to the mothers. Please, I beg you in the name of God, you should be careful with your children. What they eat, the people they mingle with, and the kind of places they go to. You must be spiritually strong. If not, you will ever regret it. Because if you're not strong, if you're not prayerful, if you don't advise your children, if you don't lead them in the way of prayers, if you don't lead them to God, you will lose them and you will lose them forever. Hmm. Thank you very much. You listen to that? She is talking in parable. She has something to say, but she, she doesn't want to offend anybody. She just is swallowing everything, but she put it in a parable. Thank you. Thank you very much.